Oh yes, yes, and it's it's as ugly as it gets when you, when you shoot that uh, pull up at the end of uh, at the end of the game, and you shoot it over the rim. But uh, that's a play that Angus and I was gonna, were drawing up at at, uh, at the end of that timeout. I was supposed to shoot it over, and it's supposed to bounce off, and he's supposed to catch it. Not really. No, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. But that was, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that was a big shot by House, big boards by the bigs, and and, and we got stops when we needed, and it was it was the crowd got loud. We got to thank the crowd for this one. Oh. This this one this one this one's because of the crowd, man. The fans of Beaver Nation got real loud and, and really disturbed Pichon at that last shot. So you gotta give you gotta give them some credit too. Regardless of the, the air ball at the end of the regulation, you just scored the four points in the end. Can you take you through uh, take us through your mindset against that last final four minutes? I just wanted to be aggressive and my team wanted me to be aggressive. So I just they I mean they they're telling me, Hey, go, 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 go for it. And I'm, I mean, it just gives me extra motivation to go out there and just to, to play to play hard. So I mean, I just wanted to give them all and, and not not leave this game saying I didn't give them all. Alice, uh, that's a play by Daniel Gomez to, to miss the dunk, <laughs> so you can get that three. Assist. <laughs> yeah, that was an assist. We work on that at the end of practice every day. <laughs> well, how about that? Uh, you know, that's just. That's just a uh, just the hard work, you know. We put in each and every day, and uh, we. Just, I think I feel like we uh, shouldn't have won that game, but uh, we did, you know. And just maybe that's a tribute to the hard work we put in a, each and every day in practice. And uh, you know, Eric, tr <coughs> Eric trusted me to, you know, kick it out to me, and I just had to knock it down. So that's how it happened. Right, you seemed pretty out of the rhythm at the beginning of the sec second half. So did it take? Did, how do you, you fight through that and get hot towards the later stages? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, it's just basketball. I mean, sometimes, like I said, sometimes, like I always say, sometimes the ball goes in, sometimes the ball doesn't. But you got to maintain your aggressiveness, and that's something that I did. And I, I'm, I mean, I've, I've been here long enough, man. Where I mean, if shots aren't falling. I know. I mean, my team has confidence. I have confidence that if I take the next one, it, it may go in. So I just wanted to go out there and just play with that mindset and not let the misses and and maybe a turnover or two kind of get me down. So I just just playing with a clear mind. That's what you have to do when you're playing basketball. Angus, you've been here uh, a number of years. Have you had any wins as ugly as that one? Nah, man. That was, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was, I mean, that's putting years of my life. I'm already <laughs> old enough. But, um, no, nah, that was just one of those games where, you know, we probably shouldn't have won the game. We couldn't knock our free throws down. Um, you know, you know, USC was playing great, uh, but we just somehow managed to get it done. Um, and like Carlos said, you know, I think it's going to attribute it to uh, hard work, you know, not only in practice, but on our own. I know Halos is in the gym every single day working on that shot he made. So that's, that's no accident that went in. But, um, yeah, this was an ugly win. Um, you know, it's, we're lucky to get away with this one because, like I said, USC is a good team. They played really well tonight. So you guys, you guys are struggling with your free throws tonight. USC was making theirs. What was your thought? I was expecting double OT. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting a win. I was mentally preparing myself to get back out there and you know play another overtime. But like you said, the fans got real loud, man. Yep. Did you guys come even close to winning this game in past years with the way you played the amount of free throws you missed? No, not even close. I mean, not, I mean, a lot of people know, especially the people who've been here know, not even close. I mean, that, that probably would have been an eight-point loss. I mean, we would have gave up, especially in the OT. I mean, we got, got, we got fighters on this team, like I've been saying. I've been preaching this, man. We got, we, got, we got some guys who are going out there and fighting. So I don't think we would have won this previous years. And it's, it's like these guys are saying, it's because of the hard work that we put, uh, put in. And just besides that hard work, what sort of things would you point to to kind of turn this thing around for you guys tonight? Uh, you know, I think just believing in the guy next to us, you know. You know, we, the whole team was believing in Roberto. Everyone was believing in Eric to grab the rebound. Everyone knew how it was a shot. You know, no one was double, uh, no one was questioning him pulling out for that shot. Um, you know, this team has immense trust, trust in each other. Um, and I, you know, that speaks volumes to uh, the difference between this year's team compared to the years past. And, uh, you know, like Berto said, we got fighters, man. We, you know, we never gave up. You know, they pushed it out to a six-point lead, I think, a couple of times throughout the game. And every single time when we came up together, we're like, you know, this game isn't over. We're right there. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. And, you know, luckily enough, we were able to get the win. How huge is the difference between four and four and three and five? Oh, it's special. Oh, there you go. Uh, in, the, in this in this conference, it's big. I mean, you look at you look at this right now. I mean, you take we take a loss off, give us a win. I mean, where the 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 difference is huge. I mean, the teams that, that go 
that are, well, I mean, we're a few games away. I mean, if some things work out, I mean, we could be up there in the top of the league. So, I mean, we have a really uh, tough conference and a, a conference who, I mean, when they play each other, in, any given night, somebody could win. So, I mean, each win is, is a huge win. So, we want to get as many as possible and just go out there and just beat teams and play as hard as we can. Alice, you were scoreless in the first half. You came out you had 11 in the second half. What was, and you also came up real aggressive early in the second half. What was the difference for you after half? You know, Coach challenged me at halftime. He said I didn't come out with enough energy. So uh, it's a power, and I took it as a challenge. And then I uh, just got myself going in layup lines, and it started there. And I was talking more. You know, I came out tonight focused in warm-ups instead of coming out like my normal self, like energetic and, and, and talking and laughing. So uh, I think once I got myself going and talking, it just took off from there, and I was just able to make plays and be aggressive. That's good. How's looking uh, ahead to, to Sunday's game against UCLA? You got a good body on the other side there. How how uh, much are you looking forward to playing against him? That's like a big brother, little brother uh, matchup for me. You know, we spend a lot of time together. And uh, <coughs> it's the first time we played to, against each other since we were like 10. So uh, it's going to be fun, and uh, I look forward to it. Have you guys talked this week? Have you communicated with him coming over here? Yeah, he, he asked me how far the school was from Oregon. He, I think he was trying to come see me, but uh, it didn't work out. So it's just going to be competitive. And, you know, a lot of people back home are going to be watching, and it's just going to be a, a, a fun. How do you Think about that, two guys coming from where you guys come from, meeting in the state of Oregon and back home. I mean, it's a blessing. You know, our families are very close. Uh, he's always asking about how my family's doing. I ask about how his family's doing, and they spend a lot of time together. So uh, it's big, and you know, for both of us to be playing well, and and he's getting all these jab boards. You know, it's it's very uh, very impressive for me and to everybody back home. And I'm just trying to be role models to everyone in New York City and Fairview and New Bergen. Program has been above 500 to halfway from the conference play since I think 1999. So with that fact and the fact that UCLA is coming in on Sunday, do you, you guys have been here a long time. Do you think that will be the biggest home game you guys have played? Most definitely. I think so. Yeah. Most yeah. definitely. And each game gets each game gets tougher, especially when you win. I mean, each game gets tougher. And, and each game becomes the most important game. So this next game is the uh, most important game, and, and we'll prepare for it. And the coaching staff, we have a great coaching staff, like I've always said. And they'll provide a, a, a real good game plan for us. And if we execute it, I think we'll have a good chance. Where, where were you fast a couple times this season after falling out? <coughs> where you guys stave off and finish? And how important that those type of wins are for this group? What about this type of win where you guys, again, you said, have no business winning it, but you pull it out. What's the difference in terms of importance for you guys moving forward? Well, like I said, I mean, each win is important. So, I mean, when we get a win like this, I mean, it's it's it's, it's icing on cake almost, man. And it's, it, these are wins. I mean, that team's good. They're well coached. They're long, man. And they could play with anybody. I mean, they beat Cal, who's who's at the top of our league as well. So, I mean, like I said, each game is, is important. And we're very fortunate to get this win, considering how we played. and. I think, I mean, with, with this, I mean, we could get a little momentum going into the next game. So we're just going to prepare for the next game and, and get ready for it. <clears throat> Joe just went up to Pichon after the game and kind of pat him on the back, kind of made him feel better. What do you think that says about Gomez that he was <sighs> Man, Gomez is the nicest guy you'll ever meet. High character. He's yeah. that's high character right there. The nicest guy you'll ever meet, man. That's why that's why he's one of my, my buddies, man. He he's just ah, that guy, I mean, he has the biggest heart out of anybody. I mean, and you see it in his play. I mean, he, he may not score a lot of points, he may not do but he'll do whatever it takes for the team, man. And that's those are the type of players that you want to play with. Those are the type of people you want to be around. I mean, that guy will literally give give his heart for you, man. And that that's why I think we're so successful because we have guys like that on this team that will sacrifice it all for the guy next to him. So I think that's why we're playing so well this year.